In this presentation we're going to look at binary subtraction, subtracting one binary number from another. The approach we're going to use is called borrowing. There's another a different approach again called two's complement. I'll do that in a different video. In this video I'm going to just use borrowing on its own. So what we're going to look at is some fundamental operations. Actually there's one key fundamental uh, operation that we're going to look at here. It's 10 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. So that's just something we have to sort of bear in mind for the time being. Now the task, the first of two tasks is as follows. Carry out the following binary subtraction. So we're going to subtract from 110000, we are going to subtract the number 10111. That is equivalent to 48 minus 23. So I'm going to write down my numbers now. I'm going to align them from the right hand side. We're going to start at the right hand side and move left. And I have my the digits of both numbers aligned accordingly. The last digit on the right hand side and so on. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this, the last row column there, 0 and 1. So we're going to look at this column here. But you notice like uh, we have a 0 here and a 1 here. So how do we subtract that? How, how do we work that? What we got to do is borrow a 1 from a column toward uh, a, a lar uh, from a larger column. So the f only place we can borrow a 1 is from here. So we have to bring the 1 the whole way down here. And we're going to call it, put it there. Okay. So this becomes a 0 now. But here's the thing. What happens to all these zeros in the meantime? In, in between the two columns we're talking about. What we've got to do is change these all to 1. So this becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 1. So I'm going to scribble that out there. So we have a much easier operation uh, set, uh, to, uh, set of operations to deal with now as a result of what we've just done. So we have 1 and 0 and we're going to subtract 1 from that and that just leaves us with 1. Okay, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. Now we're, we're, st we're stuck with the same problem here again, but what we can actually do is look at, uh, join this 1 over here, borrow it from over here, and put a 0 there. 1 minus 0 is 1. So the answer is... One one zero zero one. So let's look at another example. Carry out the following binary subtraction: one one zero one zero 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 minus one zero one zero one one. Decimal equivalent that is a hundred and four minus forty three. So here's the two numbers again. They are aligned from the right hand side, and their respective digits match up. So let's go again. So we had the same problem as we did, it had in the last case. Working from the right hand side moving left, we have a, a 0 here and a 1. So we got to borrow 1 from somewhere. We we're going to borrow it from here. Bring it over here. And we have to change the intermediate zeros to 1s. Okay. So 1, 0, minus 1, that gives us 1. 1, minus 1, that gives us 0. 1 minus 0, that gives us 1. Here we are again. What we have to do is borrow a digit, uh, borrow 1. So we're going to borrow it from here. We're going to place it here. And we have to change that intermediate 0 to a 1. So 1, 0, minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. And again, another borrowing. We're going to borrow this one here and put it here. One zero minus one, that just gives us one. So that's the answer there. One 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 zero one. And that is 63 in decimal. 